I'm, I'm seated, camera's rolling, I have my water. Yeah, I'm ready. My show has been dealing with this sort of notion of, of escapism and this relationship between the urban and the rural, between nature and technology, between the grid and the organic, and all these sort of dualities or polarities. If you're in the jungle and there's more eyes than leaves on the trees, there's clearly lots of small-time gossip and words and, and um, stories being told of, of everyone. It's a local proverb in Costa Rica. The expression sort of is supposed to connote like this idea of everyone knows your business, basically. And then also I like this idea of there's more eyes and leaves on the trees in the sense of ecology and, and population and people. Like what is a world where there's more people than there is nature? And um, that tense relationship between man and nature. I'd say I've been working on it seriously since about last September. For the last two years, I was preoccupied or busy because I also designed and built a house in Costa Rica where I've been going for about 25 years. I have the hopes of making into some sort of art residency where I can invite artists or other friends, interesting people to do workshops, to create some sort of community in the jungle. When I'm in New York, many times I'm sort of escaping from the reality of New York and painting the reality of Costa Rica. And strangely enough, when I'm in Costa Rica, some of the work is more linked to New York. A lot of the pieces in this show, they take place a little bit in this in-between. It's neither fully the city and it's neither fully the country. It's this reoccurring theme throughout painting history of man's relationship to nature or um, man's disconnect from nature or man's hope of escape from the urban to the rural or to something more spiritually profound than the city. So I like this juxtaposition of the sort of more primitive organic nature contrasted with the direct linear rigidity of architecture and modernism and um, the grid and, and these sort of confines or, or, or boxes we've, we've put ourselves in. The islands for me represent, again, yeah, the duality between this utopia and dystopia. I mean, the notion of the island is this cliche or metaphor for a, a lost paradise. But at the same time, the island, it's interesting because it also represents isolationism or nationalism or this idea of, of this isolated place or ideology or enclosed circle. So again, the island is also a bit at these crossroads of meaning. One of the big inspirations for me when I was younger was just growing up in California. There's a certain specific golden light and there's a certain warmth to the color of California that I think somehow my work might be linked to. Sometimes my subject matter can be maybe a little bit melancholic or sinister, so maybe in a way to sort of counterbalance that melancholiness or the certain darkness that prevails in my work, I want to bring the paintings to life with maybe this almost psychedelic color scheme or this almost pop artish color sensibility. I think being a surfer, you naturally have a deep connection to nature and to ecology and to the environment, but both surfing and painting, it's no team players. As an artist, you're perpetually making your own decisions in a solitary context and surfing as well is, is lots of waiting and pondering, waiting for that next wave. And a lot of painting is also just much of my time is maybe too much is spent looking, pondering, wondering, waiting for the next decision or, or, or gesture to make within the work. So they're both about spontaneity and being a little bit in the moment. <laughs> 